Hello, hello. I want to take a, a look at some of the memes that I see going around, popular memes, and they are meant to be either political or anti-religion or actually I have some that's just straight up funny. But I wanted to address some of them because I noticed that a lot of people share them and they believe them and they don't, some of them uh, involve information that people don't even research. So I uh, just had it in my mind. Where is it for? The first one I want to go to has to do with uh, why racism happens. And I wish I could. Here you go. Actually, it's the last one on the list, but I'm going to start with this one. All right. I saw this posted and uh, I had a simple question for the person who uh, posted it. You know, I'll just read what she said. You can see it on the screen. This is why racism is applied in every avenue of life to disturb the fact that we, we meaning black people, are really superior to them, meaning white people, physically, mentally, and spiritually. If we could put the egos aside, we will beat them financially as well. Before I even get to the meme, just listen to, just listen to what the person is saying. This is why racism is applied in every avenue of life. To disturb the fact that we are really superior to them. Isn't that... So basically, it, that's racist. You're making a racist statement about why other people are racist against you. And somehow they're wrong. It, that this is this is exactly why I wanted to uh, start talking about these memes because there's just some of them are just ridiculous. So this person believes that black people are superior to white people physically, mentally, and spiritually. Um, <laughs> I, it's funny. There's so many things going through my mind right now, and I mean I know if there's anyone watching this, you already you know you already know how stupid this is already. I don't even know where to start. But um, if we could put the egos aside, we will beat them financially as well. You're saying that your race of people is superior to, to the other. But then you're saying we need to put our egos aside to beat them in the areas that we're not beating them. You're just contradicting yourself all over. That's an arrogant statement. You're saying we need to stop being so arrogant so we can really fully manifest our superiority above the white people. That's just ridiculous. And my thing is, if you really believe that, because you, you have a right to believe whatever you want. If you really believe that, you have no right to complain about the racism that you feel like they show to you. Because you're the same exact thing as them. Not only are you the same exact thing, but speaking from a minority and a position of, uh, well, I was just say minority, um, and they have the position of supremacy, that's just stupid. It just it doesn't make any sense. Like, you, what makes you think you're superior to these people physically, mentally, and spiritually, and uh, that sort of thing? But we were suppressed by them. We were oppressed by them. Um, why? Where did this manifest? And I know one person will say, "Yeah, we take over the sports, and we have the arts, and there's some awesome things about black people." There's some awesome things about the various African cultures or the different cultures of black people, because there's more than black people than what came from Africa. Um, there are some amazing things if you that, that, that you'll find if you uh, discover, if you research uh, some of some of our cultures, the ancient cultures. Um, there are some bad things, too, but black people won't talk about that. They act like those don't exist. That's a whole nother story. But um uh, it's like you're being oppressed. So you're saying you're better than the oppressor, but you're not. When has this manifested? When has this when has this belief actually played itself out in the real world? And I'm not saying that we are or we aren't. I just think the whole idea that one race is better than another race is stupid. And if one does believe that, then you have no right to criticize or say anything about what they're about their racist beliefs. Now to the meme. I didn't even get to the meme yet. I forgot it was even there. Now, 
wow, if they ever discover they are gods, we will lose everything. Now, the first, the first rule of, pres of uh, self-preservation, excuse me, the first rule of survival is self-preservation. And it's human nature for anyone who's in power to try to save their power or, or to control their power, which is why the United States has their hand in so many different countries over there under the guise of justice and freedom and that sort of thing. Other countries, too. Most of the most powerful countries do that. People in the, even in the hood, people do that. They feel, you know, if drug dealers feel like they're being threatened, people do that in relationships. If they feel like, it has any, if, you've, if you've ever seen that movie, Two Can Play That Game, that's a perfect example. Because people actually do that to each other to try to manipulate the situation and try to keep the upper hand. People do that in relationships. People do that before they're even in the relationship and they're just, quote unquote, talking. Where, you know, the woman sometimes is trying to see what she can get from the guy because she believes that all men are users. And the guy is trying to see if he can get... So get laid with, you know, he, see, he wants to get laid with putting out the least bit of money or effort possible. And it's like a game between the two people and it happens all the time. So, you know, the whole idea of uh, control and wanting to stay in a position of power or privilege, that is not exclusive to white people. That's human nature. We do that all the time. If you, um, if you are up and coming in your in your job and you're you know you have aspirations for a particular position and a new person comes up in the company and they're up and coming you may feel threatened by them i know most people will act like it, it wouldn't bother them but you know that kind of thing happens when women feel threatened by or i was just say people that are in relationships or people that actually like somebody they feel threatened by a member of the same sex that is getting close to the person that they'd like. So if if a man uh, if a man has a girlfriend or if there's a woman that likes that man, if he's becoming close with a coworker, <laughs> the woman that likes him will feel upset. She'll she'll feel threatened. That's just human nature. My whole point is it's not exclusive to white people. Everyone does it. So, wow! If they ever discover they are gods, we will lose everything. And one thing, another thing about this meme. Um, if black people believe that they are gods, how can you mock another religion, like mainly Christianity, because Christians believe that Jesus was God in the flesh and I am a Christian? Um, you know, people will say things like, well, he's just a man and, you know, you worship a man, a white man who wasn't white. I know he wasn't white. <laughs> Most people know he's not white, regardless of what the stupid images look like. But um, most people. You know, they'll say, well, he's just a man and they'll get indignant. But you worship men, too. You worship yourself. So there's really not much difference, to be honest. Um, but that's something totally different. Um, I asked her a simple question. I said, and I asked it not to be smart. I was wondering. I said, if black people are gods, does that mean that white people are gods, too? And I didn't get a straight answer. It was just like, yo, why are you always commenting on my stuff? And. You know, why are you trying to cause division and you trying to debate? And I said, I'm not trying to debate. Well, the reason why the person said that is because they had posted a couple other things and I corrected them politely. I just said, well, you know, which, the information in that meme is incorrect because of this or that. And then the person deleted them after I explained it. <laughs> so um, she's like, well, why do you always comment on my stuff? I'm like, it's a simple. I really want to know. Like that to me, that's a logical question. If you believe that one race of people are gods, do you believe that everyone is gods? Especially if you believe that every person of that uh, race is gods. It's like if you believe every black man is a god, um, why why shouldn't I ask that question? Because if every black person is a god and they they deserve a certain amount of respect, then you would think that the other people groups are the same. But it's interesting because if all black people, are, if, if black people are quote unquote gods in some kind of sense, and I'm just going to, I'm not even going to try to put in words in someone else's mouth as to what exactly they mean by that. I'll just say that they're at the very least implying that blacks are, blacks deserve a certain level of respect and apparently quite a lot of respect. Um, then that, 
that means that you should never disrespect another black person in any way, shape, or form, even if they're out of line, because they're a god and, and they deserve the respect that a god, whatever your definition is, um, they they deserve that kind of respect. So every black person you meet, you should treat with the utmost respect, and your respect to them. Your respect for them should not be dependent on your mood or your attitude or whether or not they did anything to you, but rather because of the nature of that person. So I want to challenge anyone who believes that black people are gods, which I think is kind of silly. But I want to challenge anyone. Those same people that think that will be the same ones that's the, the first to pull out a gun or the first ones to be ready to go kill some kill one of their fellow, quote unquote, black gods at the minute of uh, strife or something goes wrong. So, you know, if you really believe that, at least put it into practice and treat your fellow man, your fellow black man as a God, you know, but they don't do that. But anyway, my question was, if black people are gods or white people gods too? And she didn't really answer. She just said, well, well, what do you want me to say? I mean, that's, you know, kind of, it is what it is. And I'm like, well, I'm asking just yes or no. And that's the end of it. It wasn't my intention to argue that white people are gods too, because I don't think that no people are gods. We're not gods. We're people. We're humans. So um, this is the first meme that I wanted to bring up and talk talk about. There will be a couple more. So <laughs> again, it's just it's self defeating. Her, her comment is self defeating and contradictory and hypocritical. And the meme itself. It's just secondly, it also another thing about the meme, you can she's completely missing the point. She's pre, she's uh, presupposing her belief that black people are gods and she's uh, projecting that belief on the white people. White people have made it clear why they uh, oppressed black people. They thought that we were less than human and not that, oh, they're gods. But, you know, not that they thought so highly of us, but they thought so little of us. And uh Here's a perfect example. Where is it at? The origin of this, you know, everyone knows about Charles Darwin who uh, popularized the theory of evolution. He, he wasn't the first one to come up with it. But he the one that made it popular. And then of course, after him, other people built on it. His book, which even to this day gets talked about and gets taught in our schools. Uh, look at the title of the book. This is the original title. Now they edited out the bottom, uh, the bottom part. Charles Darwin on the origin of species by means of natural selection. Now that is what I'm gonna get to the rest because you can see it. Um, that is what's on the textbooks now. Originally, the title of the book is what you see here, and the bottom, you know, the origin of species by means of natural selection or the preservation of favored races in the struggle for full life. So what he would argue is um, basically the way evolution works is the, the strongest survive, the lesser groups of, let's just use people. He meant species of different creatures in general, but let's talk about humans since that's the concept, since that's the context. Um, he taught that um, only the strong survive, the strongest just by the nature of natural selection those who are stronger will come to supremacy and those who are weak or less equipped or less advanced will die off so from his point of view uh white people they gained supremacy in at least this country let's say um because they're not like they don't control the entire world but um white people came to power because they were the best, the best fitted for survival. And then, you know, nature works itself out. So if black people were the most uh, advanced or the best, the best version of humanity, then black people would have been in power. That's what he taught. So that, that's a philosophical thing. And they try to make science out of it. But that has nothing to do with uh, them thinking that we're gods. They looked at our culture. They... <laughs> They looked at the, the ancient the cultures of the African people that they uh, came and stole, and they they thought they were less than human. They uh, ridiculed it. They thought it was stupid. Um, they thought some of the 
evil may be even. They thought that they were less than human. So that is why they oppressed us. And um, they use a lot of different things to try to justify it. But they tell you why they did what they did. And the reason why I say that is if you start off with the wrong premise, you'll get the wrong conclusion. So you'll sit there. If you assume that, oh, black and white people oppressed us for one reason, you'll sit there fighting against this one reason that's totally wrong. You know, you're not you're you're not going to make them see you as a god and the fact that you're not a god you'll spend your whole time teaching and preaching and trying i don't know i don't know how you practice being a god but you'll spend your entire time teaching and preaching something that's totally different which means that you won't even actually you will never even get close to the problem and the with the problem being that they thought that we were less than them we weren't human or, or that sort of thing and even uh mormon Let's see if I can find it. I'm not even going to go there. Maybe if I find it, I'll edit, edit it in. But even in the Book of Mormon, they taught uh, uh, Brigham Young and the Mormon church used to teach that black people were born without souls. So it wasn't until like the 70s or early 80s or something like that, that a black person could become like part of their clergy. So, I mean... They tell you why they thought what they thought. And, you know, it, it speaks for itself. But the whole meme is just silly. To me, it doesn't make any sense. And I see people sharing this kind of stuff. And they don't even understand the logic behind what they're saying. I mean, from the comment to the meme to the implications of it. You know, and maybe I'm making too big of a deal out of it. But what I find is that uh, it's propaganda. It's not only someone sharing their opinion, but it's used as propaganda. And I see particularly this kind of thing floating around the so-called conscious community. And it, it's, believe it or not, some people are influenced by this kind of thing. People who, I guess, aren't really that knowledgeable or who already have a presupposed idea about races and racism. And, you know, so I think these things are um, at the very least, they're silly and stupid and some of the other ones i think can be actually be kind of damaging so here is the first meme and i talked way too much but if anyone sat through that uh if you have a comment agree disagree why or why not um feel free to leave a comment